can remind me. I will record the lecture, but practical I will not because I want everyone should attend the practicals. Okay. Okay, I shared the screen. Um, can you see? One second. I shared, but it is not. No, ma'am. Now? Now yes, we can see. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm, I entered in administrator uh, login. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to just, when you open the command prompt, you know, you right click and run as administrator. That option you have to select. Then the DOS will be open in the administrator mode. Okay, I open in administrator mode. You can see that. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, both of the batches I completed uh, uh, basic commands. Okay, move, move, copy. Okay, how to copy more number of files using a single command. Uh, rename. Uh, then other basic CD directory, DIR, uh, creating a file in different ways, uh, deleting the file, uh, deleting directory, all those things we saw. Even type, type command we saw to display. If we want to display any content on the screen, on the command prompt, we will use uh, type. Okay. Students, any difficulty in understanding the uh, OS practical? As much as I know, I am going very slow only. Sorry? Sorry, I couldn't hear uh, Kaifuli. Ah, okay. What about uh, lectures? Lectures, could you understand? Till now, what I taught others? Yeah, you can understand. Okay. Okay, so we'll see. Because this is very important. You have to understand when you are going for uh, interviews and all, questions will come from this uh, uh, database, data structure. Data structure is very important. So all these are the core subject of uh, computer science, I can say. Computer science. Actually, you must have um, had... Uh, TOC, Theory of Computation, that is very important, but uh, as you are IT students, no, you don't have that subject. That is very important subject to understand, clearly understand the uh, execution, computing pattern of the computer. Another one, another good subject is computer organization. That is also very important. If you study computer organization, operating system will be very easy, but unfortunately, you don't have that also. Shall don't hand in. I will come and hand it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's start. First, uh, let me create a file. Copy con. Oh, no. We will create a folder. Okay. Because it openly, if I create, because in D drive, there are so many files and folders, then searching and finding would be difficult. Okay, that's why always I am creating a folder, which is a directory. I am creating directory. Okay. So, I am creating directory as my DAR. Where I am creating, I am creating in D drive. Okay. So, I have to see whether it is created or not. Okay, in a D drive, directly I created my DAR directory. Okay. I will see that. I will just see, I will list the uh, content of the uh, directory. And then 
run, run, run my directory. Okay, my DAR. Okay, my DAR is there. One second. My headphone for this I did not turn on. Students, my voice is not uh, clear, no? Or it is clear? Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. DAR created my DAR where I created in D volume in D volume I have created directory my DAR okay so I created directory that the directory is what my DAR so I have to go to my DAR I came to my DAR I just create one file okay that is uh, file one dot txt. Okay. I just type some content, then only it will allow me to uh, come out. Okay, so one file created. So where I created, you remember, please remember, I have created my DAR directory in C drive. And within the my DAR, I created one file called file one dot txt. Okay, now I want to just hide this file, hide it. I want to hide this file. Okay, for that I have the... Ma'am, can you uh, repeat what you did? I just created one directory, okay, that I deleted, that command, md, md command, you know, that I deleted. I cleared the screen. So simply, you know, how to create directory. Okay, you will create a direct directory is nothing but folder. Okay, you have to create a folder using md command, make directory command. Okay, and then within that directory, look at here, I created my dar directory and then I moved inside this directory. Moved inside this directory by typing cd. Now currently I am in my dar. Okay, currently I am in my dar directory. So being in this newly created my dir directory, I created a file which is copy con file one dot txt. So now currently where this file uh, is located, it is inside the my dir directory. Where is this directory? This is inside the d volume. D volume. Let me apply to hide the file. Hide to the hide this file. Okay. I am going to hide this file. This you know no students. Why I typed this? When I use copy con command to create file. When I create copy con uh, command to create file. It will ask you to enter the content of the file. In the prompt itself. In the command prompt itself. So I just for namesake I entered hello. And then to come out of this. I press control z. Okay. And then I came to. Now I am typing being in my dir. I am typing uh, command to hide file one dot txt. Okay. Now where is this file? This file is in my dir. No. So being in my dir, I am applying some command on file one dot txt. Okay. So it will work. Okay. So attrib attrib is a uh, command. Along with this, you have to use the um, controls called h. We can say this is a switch also, switch, okay, which will give more information about the command. How, how uh, database you did not study, no? So, that example I can't give, okay. Attrib plus H. So, this is a switch which will give more information about the attrib. Attrib is just to, to change the attribute of the uh, Coming file, given file. But what attribute you have to change hidden? Okay, so that you are giving that extra information to do the attribute properly, this command, to execute this command properly, you are giving switch. Okay, so plus h. Okay, plus h space my file name, file one dot txt. Let me see this is hidden or not. Okay. Oh, but before executing, I should show the file. Okay. 
let me show the file, then I will hide. Okay. Because we have to see, no, first it is visible, then only we can hide, right? So within DIR, I am seeing that file one is there. Mm, here, file1.txt, 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 file1.txt file is there in my DAR directory. Okay, within the my DAR directory, file1.txt is there, visible, right? Now I apply the, hmm. Now I apply the command attrib plus h file one dot txt. Okay, what I am trying to do here, I am trying to hide this file. Okay, I'm I am I want to change this file's attribute as a this file is a normal file now, now visible file. I want to change this as a hidden file. Okay, now I enter. Okay, now I will see by typing DAR that file is not visible, you see. Okay, the file is not visible. Before this, it was visible, file1.txt. Now it is not visible. It is hidden. It is there, but it is hidden. Okay, I want to get back that file, which is very simple. attrib minus h file one dot txt. Okay. To make that as hide, I put a plus h. Now again, I have to get back the file. If I want to, the file should be visible. I am just resetting the hidden property. Okay. Minus h. I plus enter. Now I will type dir and enter. Now the file is visible. Now the file is visible. Okay. Now like this, I can make some file as a read-only file also because read-only file is uh, making the file as read-only file is also uh, one of the uh, thing of changing the attribute. You can change the attribute. I can change the read and write file as a read only file. Read only file. If I make a file as a read only file, then I cannot uh, uh, I cannot delete that file. Okay. I cannot delete that file. I can only read the file. I can't edit the file. Okay. So I am now that is also same attribute. Same command, attrib plus r plus r, which file? File. Now the file is not hidden, remember. It is normal file. Okay. File one dot txt. Okay, what I did here, I am changing the this file as a read only file. Read only file. Okay, I enter. Okay. Now what I am doing, I have to delete the file. I can delete the file. I should actually delete the file. Uh, um, I should have what? I, I have to delete the file. Delete the file, we will see or executing the file. So first let me try. Huh? Delete. Uh, we will see DAR what it is showing. We applied one attribute, no? Okay, file. So that will not be visible because we have to, uh, for that we have to see the attributes. If any change happen in the attributes or not, okay? So let me try to delete the file. File one dot txt. It is coming access denied. Okay. But I am releasing this as again normal file. It is not a read only file. 
by typing rtrib minus r file one dot txt. Okay, and now in before this, I made this file as a read only file. Now I am removing that. That means I am a read only property. Okay, so I enter. Now I am trying to delete the file del file one dot txt. Now it is deleted. See, now it is deleted. The file is not there. Okay, so this is the problem. And move visa, right? Students, move visa. No, we moved the. Uh, ah, yes, move visa. Then you do one thing before I clear the screen. I want to clear the screen before I clear the screen. You just execute all these commands. Execute. No, no, different. All the commands in different. All the commands in Linux is Linux are different. Yes, yes. No, not operating system. Matlab border. In practical, only commands you will study, but in later uh, semester you have Linux administration. करके one subject that that is also having a uh, practical. There you will study about shell programming and things. Okay, here operating system practicals me you will study only the commands, only Linux commands and the DOS commands you will study. But how to program in Linux shell programming that you will study, even other administrative tasks also. How to create a database and all detailly Linux practicals you will study when you study then you will study uh, Linux administration as a subject. Okay. students you can type this and i no need to repeat you have to take the uh, screenshot and save it in the word file and before save the screenshot you have to type which are the files newly you used newly okay don't repeat all the uh, commands okay what are the new commands you used in that particular screenshot should be written on at the top of the uh, screenshot in word file and i said to kaifali to write the use of the commands no whatever from commands we used about that i told you to write the, in one or two lines okay uh so that that uh But uh, now all the commands you can do, or I can give this work to somebody else also. Then both of you can do. I feel it. No, no, you have to say no. Whether you can do or it's difficult for you. Just whatever new command I am typing every day. No, that roughly you have to note down. Anyway, while you are writing, no. So only those commands. I said, you know, how you have to you you don't take any tutorial essay about the DOS commands, YouTube, that that is and all not required. You just type the command name in the Google search engine. It will just precisely give what is the command. So that you write. That is enough. Okay. So but every command you have to type in a uh, Google and you have to. Right. You have to write, or you directly type now while you are writing, or copy paste it. Simple. Okay. So that you can do. But keep it ready. I just remind you, keep it ready because uh, then everything, all the commands doing in one time is will be difficult for you because already your schedule is going very hectic. So that is uh, very. So now and then, every day, every end of the practical, uh, what ten fifteen commands only I could teach. No, so that you can 
write and key. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Ah, yes. Ma'am, after administration, we can open the command in administrator. After that, we are getting C Windows System 32. Ah, go type CD. You so no, no, you will no, no. It will to, to it, it may show System 32, no? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so type CD dot dot. Why you studied the command then to apply, no? Yes, ma'am. But it in uh, now D. So we have to convert C in D, na? Then we have to. Yes, Do know all that. It is not necessary, students, because these commands, no, you can execute in the C drive also. But what will happen sometimes, no, uh, C drive will not accept uh, any files. Uh, it will accept only the software. Okay. So, and it is not good also when you are saving all the softwares in one drive. In the same drive, when you are saving your other normal files also, it is not good practice. So that generally I will save in D uh, drive or if you have any other drive also, you can drive, you, you can save in that. Okay. Uh, this is because we have, I have more uh, softwares in C. That's why. So you can perform this in any, being in any volume, you can perform. If you just type and see if it works, that is okay. Otherwise, you go to go back to D volume and then you type the command. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, what if we have only C drive? You have only C drive. You will be able to type the command, you know, there. Yes, ma'am. No problem. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, after that, whenever you are starting practical, no, you create a new uh, directory. And whatever we are doing, everything you save in that directory. For example, two directories are required. Create a new two directory. You don't use the existing directory. Okay. Then at the end of the practical, you can delete whatever, just to practice whatever directory and files you created, no? That don't you be let it uh, let it be okay you have to delete that okay so you delete and then next uh, during next practical you can again whenever you want you can create new directory or file subdirectories anything okay because you are so uh, you are doing the practical and you are saving no simultaneously in word file just to keep that word file safely that is enough okay. Uh, who else uh, about to ask something? Students, anything you want to ask? Ma'am, can you scroll down? I oh, wait. Black window only. Okay, okay. Now I clicked. Maybe it is. It. Now this is a hidden command. I have to check Priya. Give me time, please. Wait. Okay, students, you type and take the snapshot. Ma'am. Hand in, Panna. You check all the pages and hand in. Ma'am. Oh, okay. Ah, yes, yes. Ma'am, when I'm typing CD, my DR, uh, BTR, and when I'm uh, doing an enter, it is coming like the system cannot find the path specified. Okay, okay. You are in which directory now? You say your path, which path you are in. Mm. 
p colon slash like that read everything where you are now c drive ma'am you are in only c drive no not within any directory in the c drive right yes ma'am so being in c directory why are you typing cd double dot to go where okay no no i'm asking i'm asking you don't you just say you what you wanted to do because being in c drive because already you are in drive direct sorry volume you are in one volume again you can being in one volume you can't go back no if you want to change the volume what is the command suppose now you are in c drive you want to change that to d drive what is the command not c double cd double dot will not work e what is the command ah d colon d colon if you want to change to d drive then d colon okay okay hello ma'am yes Ma'am, I write uh, D dot only colon, but in my uh, that D, that that is uh, telling that the system cannot find the path in my diaries. Where you are hey, now? In which path? In D path. In which? In my D. Diary. Yes, yes ma'am. Now you are in D, no? Yes, ma'am. You you are in D drive, A B C D drive, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now you type M D. any folder name new create newly new folder new directory m type md space even the same my dir md space my dir md space my uh, space my dir no space in between my dir okay ma'am md space my dir enter ma'am again d only coming only d is coming yes ma'am ma'am i did in this manual it came for me no i did not get it sweetie you also had the issue before or not you are saying ma'am i had the issue before then i rectified in this method only i Which just method? done now you just said no in that method. ah d drive d d colon If you want to change from C volume to D volume, first you have to go to the C volume. Okay, you should not be there in any directory inside that C volume. You have to go back to C volume. Yes, ma'am, I done that. Ah, uh, now you can know. Okay, these are the commands. I think uh, I uh, thought that you would be clear, but uh, still you have doubt. No. So to change the volume, there is a separate command. To change the directory, there is a separate command. Remember, should not forget. Okay. Okay. Let me move. Completed. No, everybody. Oh, this is also there. Now plus R to make the file read-only file. Minus R to release the. uh read only property okay, release or reset the read only property okay how do you undo the hidden file which we did uh, what aishwarya and we uh we uh, put uh, one certain file in the hidden section right uh one certain mm -hmm. then you released it you know by typing minus h minus But every time, no, you have to type D A R and you have to show whether it is applied or not. Because in uh, uh, DOS, no, after you performed every command, it will not give any reply. If you make any mistake, then only it will react. It will give reply. That means it will give the um, what? It will give text or error. Okay, but everything is perfect. It will not say anything. Okay, so when you create a file or when you create new directory, you will not find out whether the directory has created or not. 
So for that we have separate commands. So every place you just confirm by typing dir, 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 okay. Because that should also be shown in the output. You are taking the screenshot, no? SNI you will continuously type the uh, uh, commands one after another. Whether the commands working properly or not, okay, it made a change accordingly or not, that you have to show in the screen, okay. Okay, so this is over. Everybody completed. I just clear the screen. Can I clear the screen, students? Anybody is typing by seeing the screen, students? Yes, ma'am. Can you scroll up a little? Ah, okay, okay. This is enough, but little more I have to. Here, what you are doing? Students, I typed everything. Should I repeat again? If you if you have any confusion. No need. Ah, okay. So this is you make the file as read-only file. And then this for this file, this is not required. DAR is not required. And then after you made file as a uh, read-only file, you are just uh, deleting the file, trying to delete the file. It's not happening. It's not getting deleted because you are getting this. Access is denied because you made the file as a read-only file. Nobody can delete the file. Then you are releasing the read-only property and then you are deleting. It is happening. This and all you have to show. Okay, you deleted the file and you are showing that it is deleted by typing DIR command. Because after you type the DIR, that they go no file one dot txt. It is deleted. It got deleted. Now we have only my DIR directory. Okay. I just clear the screen. Shall I? Yes. Okay. Now another uh, command we are going to see, which is called the X copy. We saw copy command. We are going to see X copy command. What is the use of the X copy command? X copy command will copy the nested folders with file. Okay, for example, uh, there is a folder that, uh, inside the D drive. Assume that there are two folders. Okay, inside one folder we have uh, one directory, and within that directory, another directory. Within that directory, another directory. And each of these directories, subdirectories, no, are having some files also. So this entire the main folder and all the subfolder, nested subfolders, main folder and all the nested subfolder. Why I'm using the word nested? Because um, the hierarchy is not like within the D drive, I have created two folders and then within the folder, there are three subfolders. It is not like that. It is within the D drive, there is a directory. That is the outer directory, outermost directory. Okay. We can say that is the main directory. Within that main directory, there is another directory, which is subdirectory, subdirectory of what? The main directory and within the subdirectory there is another directory okay and within that second subdirectory there is another directory like that it is nested okay so uh, okay we will create the directory md uh, abc1 okay this is a directory Okay, why I am saying this is directory? Because MD, MD will create a directory only. It will not create anything else. Okay, MD command will create a directory only. Okay, so I created the directory. Where I am creating directory? Within the my DAR directory, remember. Within the my DAR, I have a directory. I have another directory which we created just before. You just ignore that. Okay, 
we created my dir no that you ignore now newly i am creating on directory okay in and then i am creating another directory in the same my dir directory okay so now what we have now what we have what we have now within the d i have created abc1 and abc2 okay within d drive i have created abc1 abc2 these two are what these two are directories these two are directories okay tree is one command remember tree is a command which will uh, display the tree structure of the folders only not file okay so it is we are giving the output like this okay tree structure of the uh, directories which are there in current uh, working directory okay now this is the case now i created abc1 abc2 as two directories within my dir directory okay now okay what i am going to do i am going to create uh, another directory i am not going to use the abc2 now forget about abc2 okay i am going to create many nested file inside abc1 directory those entire nested no the nesting no i am going to copy later in abc abc2 okay so abhi abc2 i am not going to use okay i am going to create nested directories only inside the abc1 directory remember okay So, so if i want to create some directory in abc1 i have to go to that directory no so abc1 ka andar i went okay now i am in abc1 being in abc1 i am creating a new directory which is mda okay so make directory a i created a directory Mm, what we can do okay i created a directory okay where i created the directory a where i created directory a i created directory a within abc1 directory where is abc1 directory abc1 directory is within my dir directory where is my dir directory it is there in d volume remember this is a tree structure this is a path okay so i am in abc1 now what i want to do i want to create this is a directory you know a is a directory right now within this directory i want to create a file okay with this is directory i want to create a file what i will do any one of you within this a directory you no know, i want to create a file 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 not direct cda ah first very good who said this cd abhinav very good cd you will create the file using many methods and all that before that where i have to go i have to go to cda okay i have to go inside the directory and then i have to create file right so cda Yes. I came to A. Now where I am? Either, either be the right? Nah, here itself you can see. I am the hierarchy, the path. So D inside that my DIR inside that ABC one. All are directories except this. This is drive or volume. Okay. My DIR ABC one A. Here I am creating a file. Okay. copy con some file name a a dot txt okay this will ask the content okay so i came out of the content now i created a file which is a a dot txt within the a directory okay abhi a directory where it is it is in abc1 no what i want to do within the uh, a drive with sorry within the a directory within the a directory 
I have to create another directory which is called B. B. Ye ka under B. B is what? A directory. Now what I have to do? Which command I have to execute? Where I have to go first? Currently I am in A. Okay. So inside the a drive, should I move anywhere to create a new directory inside the A directory? Should I move? No, no. Not required, right? Because I want to create the B directory. Directory name is B within A. Within A. Okay. So MD, B, enter. I created B. Now within the B, I want to uh, create one file. CD. B. I have to move to CDB. I came to here. I came here in B. Now I have to create within the B. I want to create a file. Okay, which can be uh, BB dot txt. BB dot txt. It will ask to enter the some content. Okay. I just type to come out of this control Z. Enter. One file copied, which means one file created. Now I am in B. Inside the B directory also, I have created one. Um, I have created one file, which is bb.txt. Okay. Now I have to create another directory inside a B directory, which is called a C directory, inside B, inside B, okay? So I have to type MD and C. MDC. If I type being in B, if I type MDC, within the B, the C will be created, okay? So enter, I have to move to C, I went to C, I went inside the C directory. Now again, I'm creating a file, copy con, cc.txt, cccc, control, some content you have to type. Okay, so uh, what is the hierarchy of my directory? Write tree. Oh, subfolders, okay. Now tree, now you understood, no? C, inside the C, what is the tree hierarchy? It will display. But inside the C, we don't have any directory, no? So what we have to do, cd double dot. Okay. We have to go back, no? Okay. Now I am in ABC1. Directory. Even I can go back uh, or here itself because this is showing no where you are. The hierarchy it is showing. So, but anyway, we have to use the. I sh I just want to show you tree also. Okay, so tree within the D A within the A B within the B C. It is showing only directory. Remember. Okay, so like this. Inside A, there is a file aa.txt. Inside B, there is a file bb.txt. Inside C, there is a file cc.txt. Remember, don't forget. Okay. Now, being here, uh, can I apply x copy? Is that correct? It will work. What is the use of the x copy command? X copy. Okay. What is the use of the x copy command? Copy, what actually I wanted to do, whatever the content is there in the ABC1, I want to completely, pura, all the nesting, complete tree, I want to copy from ABC1 to ABC2. You remember one file, one directory we created when we create the, when we created the ABC1, which is ABC2, okay, ABC2. So that inside the ABC2, 
I want to put all the content of A, B, C, 1. Okay. So, can I type this? Let me see. I am in A, B, C, 1. So, I type X copy. Okay. I type X copy. But with the X copy, I am giving other uh, information also. Means, whatever should be copied. What and all should be copied. Subdirectories. What are the subdirectories are there, there in ABC1? That. And even if any empty directories are there, that also. And any proper directory means a directory with any content is that that also subdirectories empty directories and a proper directory subdirectories empty directories and all the proper directories everything should be copied to where it should be copied it should be copied to uh, A, B, C, 2. I'm just giving like this because uh, A, B, C, 2, no, full path I have to give. Because if I if I have to type like this, no, the A, B, C, 2 should be within A, B, C, 1. But uh, that is not the case, no. A, B, C, 2 is not within A, B, C, 1, right? Okay. So I have to give the full path. Where is my... Uh, a, B, C, 2, D, colon, backward slash. Remember, when I give the properties, I am giving forward slash. This is a normally we will use, no, that one. But in uh, this, in uh, MS DAS, when we give the path, we are using always backward slash. Remember, backward slash. But Linux may ulta, forward slash. Okay. So, remember. So, here I am giving full path of what? A, B, C, 2. D colon slash. This is a path, so backward slash. Okay, here it is forward slash. Okay. So, backward slash. D colon backward slash. My DIR. Again, backward slash because it is path. Remember. Okay. And then, A, B, C. Because within my DAR only, directly ABC2 is there. Okay. I press enter. Zero files copy. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> copy may always source and destination we have to give. No. Abhi ye source nahi hai. These are See, this entire thing we can say it is a command. But actually, this is a command and these are properties, okay? So, X copy, okay, you copy, you perform X copy by applying subdirectories, empty directories and proper directories. But this is a destination. What you want to copy that I did not see. So, I have to see. Okay, this is the destination directory. Source directory, I have to type, no. I have to type the source directory that I forgot. Okay, what is source directory? Source directory is A, B, C. Let me see this is working or not. A, B, C, 1. Okay, directly I have given. So, inside the A, B, C, A, B, C, 1 directory, sorry, from A, B, C, 1 directory, I have to copy everything to A, B, C, 2 directory. Right? DB0 is copied. I will not copy. Let me try one second. Ah, wrong now. ABC1 ka under ABC1 nahi hai na. Okay, complete baat dena padega. D colon forward slash my DIR slash or backward slash backward slash a b c one okay 
Now, what is this? X copy. What you have to copy? Subdirectories, empty directories, proper directories, everything. From where? From here. To where? To here. Okay. From this directory to this directory. Okay. I press enter. It is getting confirmation. It is asking confirmation from us. Really you want to copy? Yes, really I want to copy. I type yes. Okay. Uh, for each and everything it is asking. Okay. So again yes. Again yes, because there are many hierarchy now. So three files copied. So let me go to uh, ABC2. Okay. CD double dot. Because if I want to go to ABC2, uh, it is not inside ABC1. It is inside my DIF. So I go back. I type a CD ABC2. Why I am doing this? I want to check whether everything is copied to ABC2 or not. Okay. So CD ABC2. I came to ABC2 now. Now if I type DIR. ADAR, ABC2, name. Only A, no? Command is correct. Initially, it asked oh, my dir abc1 aaa.txt. I gave yes. And then bb.txt, I gave yes. And then ck on the cc.txt, I gave yes. And then cc.txt. Please wait, wait, students, okay? Here also, I gave yes. Why this extra time it asked? Okay. Uh, uh, why I did not enter? Why, right? Uh, why? That's okay, but why it's not copied? Directories are not copied, only A copied. Ma'am, I got one more question after doing X copy. One more? You are getting? I, before yes or no question, I got one more question. What asking, is that? Asking that does C colon my dr slash abc to specify a file name or directory name. Directory only we specify. You give just a yes for all, Abhinav. Yes, ma'am. Let me see. And, and after that, this, right? no, no, you give and first tell me whether everything copied, then we can share this. I wanted that everything should be copied in a single X copy command because X copy will copy actually everything. Uh, so directories, uh, subdirectories, everything. There are no mistake. No D colon slash my D slash ABC one. Shallow egg bar, let me check.
just wait. Huh? We are in the in my DVD. Just this is the command which I type, right? Wrong now. I am in ABC one. I type this command. I should be in my DAR and type the command, right? Students. Hmm. Yes. I move to typing media. Yeah, I don't know. Shall let me see. Uh, P D double dot. My dear. Now I am in my dear. Okay. My dear. Now my complete path I am given. So much. let me see. Yes. Yes, no, all. All. Yes. Yes. Again, three files copied. One second. Yes. Overwrite. Overwrite for no. As you already it happened, it would have happened. Wait, wait, wait. Students, please wait. Please be on me. Yes, yes, yes. First, we have to see. Everything there. First, you just I will execute again. Okay, this is I just I want to check. I'm checking. So, ye kandar, dar. File is there. These also there. And tell you okay. So you just remember whatever we executed, and this uh, why it is asking to overwrite. Okay, I just don't want to waste time. Okay, so 
So this we will execute again, okay, because uh, I have to see this one. I have to refer this one, okay. So I need some time. I will refer and tell you, but not now, not now, okay. So now we will move to others. What is the time now? 4.45. No, I thought to take some lecture also today. Okay. So, okay, one or two commands uh, we will just uh, execute. Okay, this is pending. Yes, copy is pending. Okay. Uh, execute kiya? That you did not know. This is only we started, right? Uh, okay. So, students, please, you also create the hierarchy of files like this and keep. Don't execute the X copy. Okay. I will tell you because that will take five minutes only to refer. Okay. I will tell you. So, what you, you have to do now, you have to create the hierarchy of folders which I created. Okay. You have to create uh, ABC1, ABC2 first. Those are directories, ABC1, ABC2. And then within ABC1, ABC2, you don't do anything. ABC1, you create A directory. Within A directory, you create a file, AA.txt. And then go to A directory and create B directory. So B should be within A directory. And again, within B directory, you create BB.txt file also. And then being in B directory, you create another inner directory, which is C, inside B. Okay. Inside C also, you create one file. So this is what you have to do now. Don't take the screenshot. But this file you don't delete today. Okay. Because this will be continued during next practical. Okay. So that is okay. Because tomorrow also I can continue. Because tomorrow practical is there. So I... Uh, uh, before other commands, no, we will see even in tomorrow's practical also. So we will finish till this and then I will start the uh, lecture. Okay. Other commands we will see uh, in DAS, no, there are some commands are there which are administrative commands. Okay. Uh, for example, to create a new user, to create add, to add um, new user privileges. So all those commands we will see in the next session. Okay. So shall I close this window? But you must have completed this because we spend this much time. Again, we will not get. Okay. You just execute all this. Sorry. You create the hierarchy of uh, directories like this. ABC1, ABC2, both should be there with the inner content. Okay. Students, can you do? Are you doing? Don't execute the sum command, but create and keep the hierarchy of uh, directories and subdirectories with files. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Ma'am, will you repeat that X copy part afterwards? No, definitely, I will do. Definitely. Okay. I will repeat. That's why I'm saying you type and keep. You create and keep. Okay. Why you have doubt? Okay. Yeah. So I just simply close this window. Can I? Shall I close this? You don't know, know how to create directory subdirectories. Here, nothing new, nothing we learn in this X copy me. Okay. Can I close this window, students, quickly? Okay, ma'am. Yes. Can you take just a break? You want? If I ask, though, you will say yes. Now, 15 minutes. Okay. Are 5 o'clock then? Uh, okay. When will you Join end? 6. 6, six o'clock. So now you can take 15 minutes break.
five o'clock you join. Okay, five o'clock you can join. Is this okay or extra you want extra break? This is enough, no? To have tea or coffee, okay. Okay, fine. At five you have to join.
students uh, during last lecture we discussed about the scheduling algorithms we saw shortest remaining time first algorithm before this before this we saw shortest remaining time first algorithm okay next algorithm is a round robin algorithm this is also preemptive algorithm this is also preemptive algorithm sr tf shortest remaining time first is a preemptive algorithm like that round robin round robin algorithm is also 